Yeah, what's up fam? Back here at uh, the shop, BFR Motorsports, <laughs> AKA my normal day job. Uh, actually, the, the day job is the gym. Uh, this is just me having fun with the Mustang. Uh, so we got two projects coming up. I uh, need to pull the seats out of the Mustang. We got new seats. We're gonna do a review on these uh, spectacular seats off of Amazon. And we need to take the tent off the front windows of the Explorer. Uh, I can't get it to pass inspection. It's got 15% tent on it and uh, nobody will pass it. Even like friends of friends that have inspection shops, they're like, yo, the DMV is cracking down hard. State police are coming in, like all sorts of bad shit. Uh, which is really not cool that whole like you know big brother big government bullshit uh, that I really can't stand uh, so anyways uh, let's see how fast we can pull these seats out I'm gonna show you guys how bad these are I've been waiting to do this project for months since I got the Mustang I just had to take care of a bunch of other stuff first and this is next on the list uh, I had some extra cash come in from some other projects and from renting the trailer out. So we got some seats. Uh, they are very nice. I am very shocked and very surprised. We'll do a thorough review on these, then I'll do a follow-up review in like uh, six or 12 months or so. But uh, let's see how quick we can get these seats pulled out. Let's see how bad they are. They're bad. Oh yeah. Look at that. Nice. Nice, right? Even the, even my poor pony is ripped. And then the passenger one's not quite as bad, except, yep, pony is ripped. So these are pretty bad. So let's tear these out. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. Oh, look at all the goodies. Look at this. This is all from the previous owner. Lots of leaves. Let's see if we can find any coins. Oh, we got a penny. We also have broken glass, which means a window has been broken at some point. Oh, there's some money. There we go. Yeah, 20 cent. What's up? Oh couple more pennies we got 23 24 cent yeah all right let's get this cleaned up and tell you what to do in life instead of everything you know that you could get don't let them guide your life towards regret all right let's see if this works uh here's what we did we took the stock Ford bracket all the computers, all the wiring, all the motors. And I just took a piece of metal stock right here. Drilled two holes here and here, bolt to the seat, and then bolt to here. Uh, we're gonna test fit it, see if we have to move it back. I'm not quite sure. Uh, we might have to move it back, we'll see. Let's test it. I'll fight for what I love with every breath. My past is filled with things I won't forget. I use them all to push me to my best. So treat the worst of times just like a test. Well, I gotta get in the frame here. Uh, I think it fits. The question is whether it fits left to right. The bracket works. The question is, uh, whether I have to drill new holes and bump it forward two inches. I think that, no, I don't think, because I think when I removed the seat, I put it all the way back to get to the front bolts. So I think we might be okay. Let's, um, I'm gonna put this, uh, recline it forward, and then I'm gonna connect the electrical and see if I can get it forward to back. I think we might be okay. Let's see, I'm gonna keep the camera rolling. See if I have to edit anything out. 
show you just realized there's a tab thing not in the right place uh so seat looks good so far uh i'm very excited to sit in this thing um all i have to figure out is the the front wiring panel i just have to figure out like a way to mount it i think i have to make a metal bracket to bolt it to uh, aside from that i think we're good so let's check this out go over this. They look nice. Look at that. Back up a little bit. Those are, they're super smooth. They're really soft. Um, they're just barely wide enough for me. They're a little narrow. Uh, so this is it. All right. We are back with round two. Uh, we're going to go on the passenger side for this one. And I actually bought a set of universal uh, seat brackets for the Mustang. Uh, well, they're supposedly Mustang specific. I test fit just the bracket without the seat. Three of the holes line up and one does not. But if you just kind of bend it a little bit, it'll fit. Uh, I'll put the link to the which bracket I bought off of Amazon. Uh, everyone in the comments pretty much says the same exact thing that three of the holes lined up, one did not. It was I think I read a couple of comments that said two of the holes lined up and one did not. Uh, so uh, I'll flip the camera around and show you the bottom of this bracket. I actually had to drill a couple extra holes in it too because the holes didn't line up. Uh, let, me, let me show you this, hold on one second. All right, so uh, these holes, uh, they almost lined up, but it, it just it just was off by too much that uh, two of the bolts, it's like the, you could get the top two bolts in, but when you went to get the bottom bolts in this hole, 
it was just off a little too much and it was like right against the very edge of this it was just a little too far uh so uh also on this bracket let's see if i can zoom out just a little bit here uh there we go all right on this bracket it's this front left this front left bracket is the one that doesn't line up this one this one and this one uh they line up fine these three it's this one that does not want to line up but uh basically if you put this one in first and then get that nut screwed down and then you could basically just kind of pull it and the other ones will eventually line up. Basically, you get the bolts just started in here, and as you cinch them down, uh, they'll kind of pull this bracket over a little bit. So I'm gonna flip the camera around to the other side of the car so you can watch me struggle with this piece of shit. All right, let's roll. I forgot to put the seatbelt buckle on the side of it. So let me go do that. All right, our seatbelt buckle is back on. So Lindsay can ride in the car and not die. So uh, let's see if we can get this. All right, guys. Take one, take two, take three. No, no. Take four, yeah. So we have taken the seats in and out four times now. Uh, basically, I got the seats bolted up to uh, the stock bracket and it, it's just too high. Uh, so I ended up ordering a set of seat brackets off of Amazon and if you read the comments in there they'll a lot of the comments will say like the the holes don't line up perfectly uh on the passenger one the holes were that one of the holes was off it's like the front left one at uh, the the driver's side bolted right up i had no problems with the driver's side at all i think i had to uh, i basically took like a uh, a pry bar and just had to push it just a little bit over to get the back bolt to drop in. But aside from that, it, it really wasn't that bad. The good part is these brackets that I get off of Amazon dropped the seat even more. Uh, I really wish that I could drop this seat like right onto the floor of the car, onto the floorboard but you, you can't, the bolt holes just don't line up. And these brackets, I think if I cut them and did a bunch of bending, I could maybe get it to drop a little more, but these dropped the seats from stock height. I, I, stock height, I feel like my head is like almost at the ceiling. And now I've got, you know, a good, I'd say six, eight inches of clearance between the roof and the top of my skull. So this is good. Uh, also, my bracket that I built, my adapter bracket that I that I built to bolt this seat to the stock power bracket, I think was definitely not thick enough. I used 3 16 steel and it still felt like it was flexing. There's definitely the number one complaint you're gonna find about these seats off of Amazon is that there's some, you can see this, this flux in the seat and it's a, it's the bracket that holds the seat back to the seat bottom. It's made out of plastic, which does make me a little nervous if I, if I got into a major collision, I'm pretty sure that's gonna break. Uh, but I guess I'm just hoping that I don't ever get into an accident and the seats break. Really what I'm gonna do is I am gonna end up fabbing a new bracket for the side of the seat out of quarter inch steel. And that right there should 
fix all of this. Uh, so we'll see. I'll do that uh, maybe next month. Uh, I got a lot of projects here at the gym and a lot of work to do and a lot of work to do up at camp for our other channel. But overall, these seats are really nice. I mean, for, for 400, 500 bucks, you're, you're really not gonna get better seats than this for, for $400. You're really not. Uh, you can find, I've scoured Craigslist and Facebook Market for just months looking for a decent set of used Corbo seats or um, you know Cobras or something. I really couldn't find anything for a good price that wasn't beat to shit. So for brand new seats, these are really nice. They're pretty comfortable. They're a little narrow uh, on my hip, just on my hip. Uh, this side bolster right here, I have really decent sized shoulders and shoulder wise, these fit fine. It's just on the hip and I'm only a 34 waist, but I'm a weight lifter. So obviously I've got a set of legs. That's the only spot. It's, it's just right here, but it's not that bad. And really my commute is 12 miles. Uh, so I think I can handle it, but overall, yeah, these seats are, are pretty good for four or 500 bucks. Uh, I highly recommend just get the brackets. Don't, don't try to fab your own bracket unless you can work with quarter inch steel. The brackets were like 140 bucks or something off of Amazon. Just get the brackets. It'll, it'll make your life easier. Uh, I did the fourth try on these. I bolted the passenger seat up and it was like, it was too far to the right. It was against the door. Uh, so I'd take that out, redrill the holes. I moved it closer over to the center console and I used the measurements off of that to drill the holes in this bracket. So I didn't have to do this one twice. So you learn from your mistakes, right? Uh, but I'm centered. I am lower than the stock seat and it's comfortable and they look damn nice. So again, for the 10th time, for 400 bucks, 500 bucks, shit. You're not gonna get better than this. So, highly recommend. Uh, if I do make a bracket for the seat back, uh, I'll make a video for that next month. And we'll just see how it goes from there. But, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.